So, in previous video, we discussed about arithmetic progression introduction. As I told you, arithmetic pro progression is a sequence of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term. So, we get sequence of numbers that numbers we call it as arithmetic progression and the first number we are calling it as first term and the difference between the terms we call it as common difference and as I told you common difference will be positive negative or zero and here observe just let us take one example 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 observe this or I will write the same thing 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 so on observe so here 1 3 5 7 9 I have stopped at 9 here I am not continued here observe there is no not so 1 3 5 1 3 5 7 9 here the numbers there are only finite num terms here here 9 is till 9 is it is restricted to 9 there are no further numbers next 9 so the AP consisting only the finite number of terms we are calling it as finite AP fixed numbers if it is here 9 it is 9 is end here so these type of numbers or sequence or AP we are considering it as finite AP finite finite numbers in finite F I N I T E finite numbers in the same if, if I consider like this the, it's the same example if it is like this 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma so on here the dotted lines represent so on that means it is infinite in which the terms are unlimited so, here if the numbers are unlimited or you can take any numbers to uh, infinitely, these type of sequence or these type of AP we are calling it as infinite AP. Remember, just re remember infinite AP or infinite terms you can call it as. So, if the numbers are fixed or it end up at last, so we are calling it as finite AP or if numbers are unlimited or number of terms are unlimited so those are called as infinite AP so in that no last term we don't get last term in that but infinite AP will get last term clear so first we'll move on to the exercise question and very simple so in this exercise we have four questions but sub questions are more but easy observe first question in which of the following situation does the list of numbers involved make an arithmetic progression and why so here they have given the situation related to that situation we have to form sequence of numbers and we have to decide whether it forms an ap or not so first question attack Taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer. Listen, the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first, that means the first for first kilometer it is rupees 15 and rupees 8 for each additional kilometer that means if you are going for 5 kilometers in a taxi if you are traveling for 5 kilometers the for first kilometer it is rupees 15 and remaining 4 kilometers for each kilometer it is 8 rupees so let me consider observe solution taxi fare for 1 kilometer taxi fare for 1 kilometer taxi fare for 1 kilometer it is 15 so let us let me take it as a1 a1 next they are saying fare for each additional kilometer it is 8 8 is fixed remember the first term is 15 for each and every every 
kilometer you are adding 8 rupees that means a fixed number and that fixed number we are calling it as d value d so next let taxi fare for second kilometer so first is 15 rupees so for second one we are giving it as 8 additional 8 rupees so it is 23 again so taxi fare for 13 kilometer sorry 3 kilometer the first is 23 15 plus 8 23 we took a2 so again we are adding d 8 rupees so it became 31 and so on if it consider like this therefore the sequence became 15 23 31 so on 15 23 31 so observe this if i consider the difference between these two a2 minus a1 this is a1 this is a2 a3 so 23 minus 15 23 minus 15 will get 8 again 31 minus 23 31 minus 23 a3 minus a2 again will get 8 so we are getting the common term d is 8 here so list of numbers so these if what is our ap tells it is a sequence of numbers having a fixed number adding a fixed term number to the preceding number to get a succeeding number clear so here yes here the fixed number is 8 if you add that 8 to the preceding number we are getting the succeeding number so in each and every case the difference is same here so what is here a2 minus a1 is equal to a3 minus a2 this is how you have to check whether it is an ap or not so first take a1 a2 a3 so on just subtract a2 minus a1 and a3 minus a2 make them as make them equal or not if they are equal so this list of numbers forms ap and the first term is 15 here common difference is 8 so first term is 15 and here remember in each and every problem the main thing is we will consider the first term and the common difference so first term is 15 common difference is 8 so let me go for second situation the amount of air present in a cylinder the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of air remaining in the cylinder at a time so the vacuum the amount of air present in the cylinder i don't know how, how much it is let me consider it as any variable when a vacuum pump removes one fourth of the air remaining in the cylinder we are removing the one fourth every time one fourth of remaining so let me go to the situation uh, solution observe the amount of air present in the cylinder let it be x units let us consider x units we don't know how much it is so x units and that take it as first term it is first term next we are removing the that means we are removing means subtraction minus adding means addition removal means subtracting so removal of one fourth of air of remaining so here the original in the tank is x units we are subtracting one fourth of x in that clear for this will i will take i'll give one example so if it is 16 rupees if you have 16 rupees if i minus one fourth of 16 in that I'll take one fourth of 16 means 4 rupees so 16 minus 4 will get 2 12 so clear observe you have 16 rupees I will rem I'll take one fourth of the amount in this so one fourth of 16 is 4 so if I take 4 rupees from 16 remaining is 12 like this we have taken in this so here the water or a sorry air present in the cylinder is x cylinder is x so in that i am removing one fourth of x so one fourth of x so remaining will be the so let me check so x minus will multiply one into x x x by four so x minus x by four now so let me multiply four into x four x minus x if i take lcm four 4x minus x it is 3x by 4 so our answer is 3x by 4 which is a2 now let me go for next part so now remaining part is 3x by 4 now in the cylinder that cylinder the remaining portion as i told you if i take 1 fourth of 16 rupees means 
4 rupees if he subtract 12 minus 4 will get 16 minus 4 will get 12 so 12 is the remaining amount in the same thing here x minus x by 4 we got 3x by 4 so 3x by 4 is remaining in that cylinder now we have to remove one fourth of that remaining so here the remaining is 3x by 4 minus 1 by fourth of 3x by 4 so 3x by 4 3x by 4 3x by 4 minus 1 by fourth of 3x by 4 so keep 3x by 4 so multiply 3x into 1 3x 4 4 za here 4 4 za 16 so 3x by 4 minus 3x by 16 so what is the lcm 16 so if we take 16 if we take 16 here 4 into 4 4 3 za 12x minus 16 16 cancel 3x 12x minus 3x it is 9x 9x by 16 so that is a3 now let me check difference as i told you here we have to consider a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 so d is equal to a2 minus a1 that is 3x by 4 a2 is 3x by 4 minus a1 3x by 4 minus x here a2 is 3x by 4 a1 is x so if we subtract those two 3x divided by 4 minus x so let me multiply the like this 3x minus 4x by 4 3x minus 4x minus x by 4 so what we got the difference minus x by 4 so let me check another a2 minus a2 minus a3 minus a2 so what is a3 here 9x by 16 minus 3x by 4 again what is the lcm 16 here 16 16 cancel 9x here 16 4 4 is a 4 3 is a 12x so 9x minus 12x again we got 3x by 16 so 3x so here observe the difference are not same in each case so a2 minus a1 it is minus x by 4 a3 minus a2 it is minus 3x by 16 so both are not equal so therefore common difference is not same the list of, list of numbers does not form a p observe if the common difference is same in each case then it is a a p otherwise it is not a p clear observe listen to this again observe the each and everything a1 a2 a3 and subtracting and the finally they both are not equal so that does not form an ap next same third situation the cost of digging a wall sorry well the cost of digging a well after every meter of digging when it costs rupees 150 for first meter and rises by rupees 50 for each subsequent meter as same as a taxi fare same so for first meter it is rupees 150 for next subsequent meters it is increased by rupees 50 so observe cost of digging 1 kilometer 1 meter it is 150 take it as a1 and for each and every subsequent what is the number of cost for that 50 so it is fixed 50 is fixed here so we are calling it as that fixed number we are calling it as d so cost for digging a second kilometer first two two kilometers so it is 150 plus 50 so we are taking 50 extra for this so it became 200 it is a2 cost for digging two kilometers it is 200 plus 50 equals 250 so it is a 3 so if i take 150 200 250 the sequence are like this observe a 2 minus a 1 200 minus 150 50 again a 3 minus a 2 250 minus 200 again 50 so both are equal this list of numbers forms a p with first term a equals 150 and the common difference is d clear 
so let me go for last situation in question number 1 so observe these are all sub questions in question number 1 only the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10000 is deposited at compound interest at 8% per annum so here the every year the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10,000 is deposited at compound interest at 8% per annum. So, let me check here. Original amount. What is an amount in the bank? So, it is 10,000. Let me consider it as A1. 10,000. Interest after 1 year. Interest after 1 year, how much interest he is getting? 8%. So, 10,000 of 8%, if I take 10,000 of 8%, 10,000 into 8% 8, 8 we can write it as 8 by 100, clear. So, 10,000 into 8 by 100, so 10,000, 10,000 into 8 by 100, if I take like this, this two zeros cancel, 100 into 8, it is 800. So, what is the interest we are getting? 800. So, what happens to the that amount? 10,000 plus 800 it is 10,800 take it as A2 do not take this interest as A2 that interest you have to add to the amount so that is A2 next what is an amount now 10,800 now the bank which is having now 10,000 for that again 8% 10,800 into 8% so 10,800 into 8% again 8% 8 by 100 2 to 0 cancel 108 into 8 we got 864 864 amount now the interest is 864 if we add 864 to the 10800 now I got 11644 observe but observe this amount here the D value it is adding to the amount it is not fixed here it is 800 864 next it will increase it keep on increases as the amount increases so therefore in here both a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 is not equal therefore the numbers does not form a p does not form a p so please observe all these four situations if they ask this, they may ask for one mark to form an AP.